friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch, and today we're going to do a flip through of the 2023 a Across a Stitch Christmas. It is called Seasons of Memories, and this is put out by Craftways. It is also uh, usually available on Hirschner's. I somehow got on a list to be sent it as a preview. I paid for it. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that, um, but somehow they send it to me to to look through and if I want to keep it I pay <laughs> essentially um so I thought I'd do a flip through and then you can check Hirschner's um when uh as it gets a little bit closer to Christmas to see when it will be available also I'll put a phone number down below in the descriptions box for uh, their toll-free number, which you can call and check on as well. So first up, they sent, with this kind of mail order thing, a free gift. It is called Simply Charming, uh, and they are ornaments. Uh, and I have to... Okay, so I can fold it back. I'm just trying not to um, show the chart, of course. So these look like they're stitched on perforated paper but you could stitch it on um, fabric too. They are all 45 by 45. They use similar colors, but this would be a great kind of stash buster. And then here are some more. And they give ideas for, these are, they made these into pillows and they, um, oh, this fabric, it, it says 10 by 10. 28 count milk chocolate linen is what they used and then they you know um, told you what you need for finishing materials so those are cute and then we have this one look at this deer with the laundry so cute so that's a fun little freebie um, and then there's more on the back, but I don't know that I can show it to you because it's all charts. But there's uh, three more designs on the back, but similar similar idea. So let's get into this book. So this is what the cover looks like this year, Seasons of Memories. And this book, um, I like it because it breaks up, it's broken up into sections. So our first section is called Wintry Blues. And here's a stocking with Santa in the blue and white and silver. It's really, really pretty. That's called Mid Midwinter Nightfall. Midwinter Nightfall. This next one is called Moonlit Majesty. Moonlit Majesty. That's pretty, isn't it? Gorgeous. And then this other one is Starry Forest. And they have it as like a, a table runner. Really pretty there. Then we have Choir of Angels. Uh, Doreen Jones, inspired by, designed by Doreen Jones. Um, let me just show you. So these angels, so you get all of the patterns for each of those angels in here, which they kind of have it as a garland, or you could do it as ornaments and put them all over your tree. You could use them as gifts for people. Um, this other, other pattern on this page is called Peace on Earth. Uh, okay, so I haven't looked through this yet. <laughs> In case you can't tell. So, Peace on Earth. This book is a little hard to, to show. Um, ooh. Uh, this is called Peace Dove. Peace Dove. Isn't that pretty? That one's on a dark fabric, but it sure is pretty. And this other one, man, this is gorgeous. Um, snowy. Snowy and Silent, it's called. I think it's so pretty. And that's a good winter piece. Like, it's not just Christmas, so it could stay out all winter long. Oh, that's so pretty. Very pretty. And then we have Festive Friendship 
flakes. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, there we go. So a couple ornaments there. I'm trying not to show the chart. Um, festive friendship flakes. So I guess it's just the one design, but they finished it in a couple of different ways. And then you have the charts, and there's finishing instructions for you on here as well. Um, okay, so our next section is called Citrus Christmas. So these are bright colors. This one is called Gnome Sweet Gnome. So we're in this bright oranges and yellows and reds. Gnome Sweet Gnome, that one is called. This one is called Vibrant and Vintage. Oh, I really like this colors. And they just have them as little table mats, I guess. Not placemats, but like table runners, maybe? You could do this as a table runner. I don't know. Designed by Cheryl McKinnon. I don't know that that's the intent, but you could do this as a table runner. Um, okay, and then this next one is called Lemon and Lime Trio. So these are really non-traditional colors, um, which is nice, especially for those of you who live in areas where maybe it doesn't snow uh, for Christmas and you're tired of all the snow scenes, the win you know, kind of the typical wintry scenes. This might be really fun. I'm thinking of people who live in, like, Florida and, you know, even in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, this next one is called Bright Lights Santa. It says Merry and Bright. And he has Christmas lights in his hat. This next one is really pretty, too. This is called Citrus and Spice, and they have it finished as a double hoop wreath. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's very, very pretty. And... This is Emma Congdon Present Pile, it's called. Now I'm going to have to do it over here because there is a chart on the other page. Present Pile, so like a little candle mat. So that is that one. Okay, so that is that section. I'm going to go through all the charts here. Oh, I like this one. This next one is called Home for the Holidays. This is our next section. Um, this is called Decorating Memories. Very classic uh, scene with the puppy and the fireplace and the family. Lots of stitching in that one. Um, this next one is called All is Calm and Bright. And they have it, there's like two little ornaments there. I like how they finished them in the hoops and then hung them on a swag. That's really um, a neat idea. Like instead of just, you know, just the picture frame, I like that idea. The next one is called Hometown Hustle. Hometown Hustle. So it's kind of like an aerial view, which you don't see too often, of this little town. People getting ready for Christmas. I like the fabric that they used. Um, this one is called Ornament Tree. And it's a very interesting framing. Look at that. And that's framed. Isn't that interesting? That's really pretty. Really pretty. Um, and then there's Holly Day's Needlework Set. Um, so you get the needle book, a fob, and a pin cushion. It's right here. That's really pretty. Would make a great gift for a friend for the holidays. This next one is called Christmas Cuddlers. So you have kitty cat and a puppy dog. Looks like they did it on perforated paper, but again, you don't have to do it on perforated paper. Okay, so that's that section. This next section is Teal Green Greetings. And this first one is called Elfie Selfie. Elfie Selfie, isn't that cute? Lots of stitching in that one, but 
very cute. Yeah, Doreen Jones. It looks very Doreen Jones um, style. This next one is called North Pole, North Pole Taylor. This is also really cute. North Pole Taylor. You could even change the words to say something, you know, like your street name or your, if you live in a subdivision, your subdivision name or something like that. I think that's really cute. Or like Carolyn's sewing room or craft room or whatever. Um, this next one is called Polar Personalities. And these are like small cards. They made them into cards. Aren't those cute? Polar Personalities. Very cute. Um, this next one is called Solemn Silhouette, and it's a small nativity scene there. So they really are letting the, the fabric speak, um, let the fabric kind of show through. So that's beautiful. And then this next one is called Noel, um, and it's very modern, right? Noel. So you get the ornaments and the stocking. It's called Noel. This next one is called Merry Christmas Salutation. This is cute. And they have it as a pillow, which I think is a great idea. That's for your chair. Merry Christmas. And then there's a couple of uh, Biscornu designed by Praiseworthy Stitches. It is called Santa and Rudy. Santa and Rudy. So you have two Biscornus there. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is it two or is it just one and you have it on both sides? No, it, it's two separate ones. So the Santa one, the bottom of the Biscornu says ho, ho, ho. And the bottom of the uh, Rudy one says jingle jingle, but you can mix and match it however you want it because they are the exact same size. They're all 63 by 63. So you could do that however made sense for you, however you wanted. All right, so that is that section. Now the next section is called Christmas Tide. They always, what I like about this book is, um, although this doesn't necessarily pertain to me, but I think it includes a lot of people. They always have like a seaside section or a when it doesn't snow like I was saying earlier when it doesn't snow um in your area for the holidays this is a good section this this first one is called leave a light on for Santa now that one is kind of snowy but it's definitely um seaside leave a light on for Santa really really pretty this next one is called Holiday Harbor. Holiday Harbor, and you're stitching on that dark fabric. Holiday Harbor. Really unique design. Um, this next one is um, nautical tidings, and they're all ornaments. Kind of, right? Not too Christmassy. I mean, you could change the border colors. So they're less pepperminty, and you could leave those out all year. And then the crab is really cute. So those are not necessarily just for Christmas. This next one is called Holiday on the High Seas. Holiday on the High Seas. Isn't that interesting? Fun. And this next one is called Seas and Greetings. And I think this is really pretty. Like if I had a beach house, I would definitely make that. Seas and Greetings. And then they have, oops, oh, okay. They have one called Coastal Christmas. And they're a bunch of ornaments. And they're all small. Like one is 25 by 25, one is 33 by 35. Again, these don't have to be Christmas. Look at that turtle. And I love how they displayed them. They took like just scraps of wood or you could use popsicle sticks or whatever. And um, it really does make it look nautical. 
Again, doesn't have to just be for Christmas, you know? Um, yeah, those are really cute. Coastal Christmas. And there's a lot of them. 42 by 42 seems to be the biggest one. One is 22 wide by 46 high. That's the, um, the lighthouse. But that's the biggest one. So, okay. That's that section. So we have our seaside section. Now this next one is called Mountaintop Merriment. And this is more my, my style. King of the Mountain is this first one. King of the Mountain has a little Nordic feel to it. But all those trees. Really pretty. All right, this next one is called Woodsy Fox. It was very cute. Woodsy Fox. Cute. And the one next to it is called Homebound Gnomes. Oh, these gnomes have faces. Homebound Gnomes. If you've been with me for a while, you know I'm kind of, gnomes kind of scare me. And I've never seen gnomes with faces, and I think they scare me even more. <laughs> And this next one is called Woodland Garland. Uh, so this is really cute. I mean, you could do a garland with any of the small ornaments that we've seen. But you have a tree. You have a bear, a cabin, a moose, another tree. I guess it's the same tree. So that's fun. You could kind of make it as big as you wanted. So... This next one is called Friendly Fur Balls, and they kind of have them uh, made up as gift tags. Friendly Fur Balls. But you can make those for cards or bookmarks or, you know, whatever you want. And the one beside it is called Woodland Snow Globe. Woodland Snow Globe. That's pretty. All right, so that looks like that's that section. I'm nearing the end here. Let's see if there's anything more. Nope, and then in the back they have um, some cross-stitch basics in case you need help um, with any, any stitches or anything like that. So that is this year's A Cross-Stitch Christmas Season of Memories. Um, and so let me know what you think. I think there's only a couple in this that I would, um, stitch. I think there's a lot of pretty ones, but actually stitch, I think there's probably only a couple in here, um, for me, but let me know what you think about this. And like I said, I will leave the contact, the toll free number down below so you can call and kind of ask when can I get this? So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.